You're missing me today is that that thing that is your career or your destiny, you will do it so much well that everybody that came to this planet and we know that you, you existed. Today is the career day of a wise and we are in the school. This is the owner of the school, Mrs. Onyeka, is an Igbo woman that is doing export exploits in Kotonou, Benin Republic. And this is a standard school that she has set. Today happens to be a career day and some career women and men are here to educate the children. And they are really, is really going well. And as you can see, we are on it. As you can see, these are some professionals that are here to speak to the children. We are here again to give you the details of what is happening here. As you can see, this is Wise International. It's a school in Kotonou, Benin Republic. And it has nursery session, primary session, and secondary session. Uh, we are here today because it is their career day. And as we are going through this, you can join us online. You can support the school. You can bring your child if you really want your child to participate in these great things. Come and join this great school and see a change in your child's life or in your world's life. Okay, so see you as we continue. Let's go. So right now, the doctors are being uh, potential doctors. Okay. So our potential doctors are being addressed uh, and um, mm, a lot is going on here. You missed, but I got your back. I will record everything and show you in my channel. So as you're watching, make sure you subscribe because more are coming. Subscribe, like, comment, and share. Okay, we are here and we are here representing you. Okay, so as you can see, we are, we are still some speakers at the background here that are here to speak speak to these children or these students and see it's coming out perfect it's coming out good and i got you back so everything we will do today will be recorded it might not be in full i might not show you in full but i will represent you well okay so, hey, happy, are you know, clap your hands if you're happy you're not happy <laughs> hey. if you're happy and you know clap your hands if you're happy and you know, and you really want to show, if you're happy and you know, clap your hands. Thank you very much. This morning I'm here to motivate you. Okay? I believe that everybody here watches movie Troubles. Who has never watched movie here before? Who has never listened to music here before? You understand? So here now, the people that are coming to this place are here to entertain you. So you are going to be seeing dancers, I am going to be seeing people acting. So why is it here? Pay attention. We are going to welcome in the dancers. Thank you very much. Round of applause for them. I'm here to motivate you because today is your career day. Today is your career what? Yes. Career what? Yes. And I have a reason why I don't want to go career-wise. Because doctors has been represented. Personally, I'm an engineer. So if I come and represent the engineer, it will be as if other professionals are less. You are not less, so. Do you understand that? Do you understand that? Yes. That your profession you chose is the best. Do you agree with that? Yes. The profession you choose, that thing you want to be, is the what? Yes. Best. That is the best in the market, in the labor market. Okay? So, can you look at your hands, your palm? Everybody, look at your palm. Everybody, look at inside your hand, inside your hand. That is your palm. Is there any line you are seeing there? Yeah. Look at your neighbor's own. Is it the same? No. Do you know why? 
the reason why the lines inside your hands are different from the one in your neighbor's hand is because you people did not come to do the same thing on earth. Do you understand that? Hello? I want you to give me attention. Okay? You see, your own is different and your friend's own is different. The reason is because you are unique. Tell your, tell your neighbor you are unique. And I am unique. Do you know what uniqueness is? You are different. And I am different. And we are here for a purpose. And why I am here on earth is different from wh why you are here on earth. And the reason why everybody has their own lines different is because it is written that when you come here, when I say here, I mean earth, there is a purpose you are here to fulfill. Do you understand that? There is something you are here to do. Okay? Yes. Are you understanding this? Yes. Please give me attention, okay? That thing you are here to do, it is only you that will do it well. Knowing that you have a different line. If you see your friend, that your friend wants to be a doctor, and you leave that thing you have come here to do, and you go to be a doctor because your friend wants to doctor, you go there, you fuck up. You will not do it well. Do you understand that? Even if you pass your exams and get a job as a doctor, you will be angry with patients because you are not designed to be a doctor. Do you understand that? But if you are uh, uh, talented or you came to it, God brought you to it to be a teller. Do you know that men looking at somebody without measurement, you'll be able to sew something that will suit that person so well that it will be as if they gave birth to that person with that clothes. Do you understand? And you see celebrities coming to sew uh, their, their dresses with you, and everybody wants to identify with you. Why? Because you are working in your destiny and talent. Hello? Hi. Do you understand? Or it's too heavy for you to understand destiny? So how do you find out what you are here to do? It is another session and it's practical. I have a booklet on that, which I can bring, give to your, the owner of the school, the proprietor, maybe to give you free of charge so that those things you like doing. Let me tell you my story. I was giving birth to a family where others has grown when I came. You understand? And they, could do not, they don't have doctor in the family and everybody want me to be a doctor do you understand that my mom wants to be mama doctor my dad wants to be papa doctor but right from beginning they notice that when they keep gadgets i will always go and lose and screw do you understand i've told my children this story and everybody start hiding gadgets from me because i don't use eye to see what gadgets do you understand that it was my destiny that was calling me that time. You can see in your family, there's one particular one that don't want to hear the sound of ball. Even if he's um, eating and he hear doom, doom, doom in the field, what will he do? Why is calling that person? Destiny. Okay? The person's destiny is calling. Or you see where they are sewing clothes. All your eyes will be there. Your mommy will be calling you and your eye will be. What is calling you? That thing you like doing, and when you do it, maybe even casually, people tend to say, wow. You know, you don't mean it. You don't prepare. You just do it casually, and people will be like, wow, are you the one that did this? What is calling you? So, the most important thing is being in the line God has created you to be. Your own destiny is what? Unique. And it is different from another person's destiny. If you go and join another person in his or her destiny, you will be poor. Because every of your blessings is aligned with your destiny. You understand? So if you are a teller or fashion designer, or you are an engineer, or you are a doctor, you are whatever you are or you want to be make sure it is your destiny you are happy doing it don't do it because mommy wants you to do it 
you are that thing god brought you to be and until you do it you are not going to be satisfied or it so as i was telling you my story i went and wrote jam medicine and surgery to be a doctor okay i went and uh, every exam i did my second everything i was doing is towards becoming a doctor but am i a doctor today i ended up being an engineer that's my destiny okay so your destiny is that thing you are happy doing don't look at it the way people see it it is in that thing that your blessings are okay and don't look inferior make sure that when you are working under your destiny you are bold you are proud of what you are doing and you make the best out of it and what you are promising me today is that that thing that is your career or your destiny you will do it so much well that everybody that came to this planet earth will know that you you existed hello do you do you used to hear of obama is obama your age mate but you knew about him okay you do hear or who again do you hear about oh michael jackson is he your age mate but you know about him why do you know about him they left a footprint okay they left what a footprint that everybody that comes to this earth know that they came they existed at one point in time true of us so what you will promise yourself your parents your god and everybody is that that career you have chosen you will do what leave a footprint in it in this world that anybody that entered this world will know that from this year to this year so 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 and so person what existed on this planet that is the most important thing okay so you go to web designing you go to computer engineering wake me up in the night i do what i give you the best why because that is my destiny even if i am sleeping whatsoever close my eyes i will do my design why i am working in my destiny okay so you are giving me that promise that you will do something under your career that everybody that entered this earth will know that you existed is that a promise yes. is that a promise yes. my baby what do you want to be a pilot so and you are promising me that you are not going to fumble and you become a pilot a great one that everybody we know that you existed have you that is the most important thing and every morning when you wake up call your name okay go to the mirror are you listening to me do you have a mirror in the house yes. assignments go to the mirror every morning call your name my name is only promise okay go to the mirror and say only call your own name only promise i am unique I, I, will be great. I will be great. I must leave a footprint. I must leave a footprint. And everybody that entered this world, that enter this world. We, know name. we know my name. We hear my name. I will want to meet with me. I will want to meet. Is it a promise? Yes. Clap for yourself. <laughs> I think I'm done. <laughs> Yeah. Okay.
Aha. This is the mute and carefu nose. Eh? Uh -huh. This is the owner, the manager, the proprietor of Wise International in Kotonou, Benin Republic. All right. In case you want a checkup, you want to check your BP, you want to check your eyes. What again can we check? Temperature and the rest of them. We have a team of doctors, your weight and all that. Whatever you want, we have everything here. We have farmers in the school, we have footballers, we have potential pilots, we have dancers, those in the entertainment industry, and what has you, whatever you can mention, we have all of them. And I'm, I will start tomorrow to say, I am proud to be a teacher. Remember, I am a teacher. <laughs> <laughs>